back to the museum and storybook theater. Gus is so happy you're here today. Hi. Come on over. We're going to sing our story song before we get started. Can you guys help me with that? Gus, you want to help me? Okay. Here we go. You want to hear the story, clap your hands. If you want to hear the story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hand. If you want to hear a story, nod your head. If you want to hear a story, nod your head. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, nod your head. If you want to hear a story, say hooray. hooray! If you want to hear a story, say hooray! hooray! If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, say hooray!
Tom and Nana, Tommy's Irish grandfather and grandmother, had his pictures in their grocery store. Nana Fall River, his Italian grandmother, put one in a special frame on the table next to the photograph of Aunt Chloe in her wedding dress. So he, oh, it looks like he did a picture of an angel. Let me show them. the children at home. Once, Tommy took a flashlight and a pencil under the covers and drew pictures on his sheets. Okay, is that a good thing? <laughs> I'm going to say, don't do that at home. When his mom changed the sheets on Monday and found them, she said, no more drawing on the sheets, Tommy. His mom and dad were having a new house built, so Tommy drew pictures of what it would look like when it was finished. When the walls were up in the new house, one of the carpenters gave Tommy a piece of bright blue chalk. So what do you think Tommy did? He drew all over the walls that were not finished yet. But when the painters come, his dad said, that's it, Tommy, no more drawing on the walls. Tommy couldn't wait to go to kindergarten. His brother Joe told him there was a real art teacher who came to the school to give art lessons. When do we have our art lessons, Tommy asked the teacher. Oh, you won't have art lessons until next year in first grade, but we're going to paint pictures tomorrow. Do any of you like to paint pictures? Do you paint? Do you ever finger paint? Do you like to paint? That's so much fun. Do you know, I still have my children's paintings a long time, like 30 years, <laughs> so they're not quite the same, but I kept a lot of my children's paintings. But it wasn't much fun. The paint was awful and the paper got wrinkly. And if it was windy when Tommy carried his picture home, the paint blew right off the paper. At least you get more than one piece of paper in kindergarten, his brother Joe said. When the art teacher comes, you only get one piece. That would be hard to only have one piece of paper. Tommy knew that the art teacher came to school every other Wednesday. He could tell she was an artist because she wore a blue smock over her dress. And she always carried a big box of thick colored chalk. Once Tommy and Jeannie looked at the drawings that were hung in the hallway and they were done by the first graders, the bigger kids. Your pictures are much better, Jeannie told Tommy. Tommy could hardly wait for next year. So he practiced drawing all summer. Then on his birthday, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Regular boxes of crayons had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. But this box had so many other colors. Blue, violet, Turquoise, well, that's one of my favorite colors, turquoise. Red, orange, pink, and even gold, silver, and copper. Class, said Miss Landers, the first grade teacher, next month the art teacher will come to our room. So on Monday, instead of singing, we will practice using our crayons. Tommy's been practicing, hasn't he? He's pretty good at it. On Monday, Tommy brought his 64 crayons to school, but Miss Landers was not pleased. Everyone must use the same crayon, she said. School crayons. School crayons had only the same old eight colors. These crayons are school property, said Miss Landers, so do not break them. Peel off the paper or wear down the points. Oh, doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun so far, does it? How am I supposed to practice being an artist with school crayons? Tommy asked Jack and Herbie. That's enough, Tommy, Miss Lander said. And I want you to take those birthday crayons home with you and leave them there. And they only got one piece of paper. How do you think Tommy was feeling right about now? 
a little frustrated, do you think? I like lots of paper and lots of crayons. Finally, the day of the art lesson came. Tommy could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, he hid the box of 64 crayons under his sweater and went off to school. He was ready. The class door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Landers said, class, this is Mrs. Bowers, the art teacher. Patty, who is our paper monitor this week, will give out one piece of paper to each of you. Don't ruin it, because it's the only piece you'll get. Class, Mrs. Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn to draw a pilgrim man, a pilgrim woman, and uh, what else do you think you will draw for Thanksgiving? What do we? Okay, I mean, yes, that's a good idea. Anything else? Is there an animal that starts with a T? Gobble, gobble, gobble. A turkey, right. And she wants everybody to copy. So what do you think Tommy said? Copy? Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. This was terrible. This was supposed to be a real art lesson. He folded his arms and just sat there. Now what's the matter, Miss Landers asked. Tommy spoke right to Mrs. Bowers. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, and my cousins told me that real artists don't copy. And besides, Miss Landers won't let me use my own 64 Crayola crayons. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, Miss Bowers said, what are we going to do? And she turned to Miss Landers, and they whispered together. And Miss Landers nodded. Now, Tommy, Mrs. Bower said, it wouldn't be fair to let you do something different from the rest of the class. But I have an idea. If you draw the pilgrim man and woman and the turkey, and if there's any time left, I'll give you another piece of paper and you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try, Tommy said with a big smile, and he did. So there's the pilgrim man and woman and the turkey. Let's show our children. And he did. There's his own picture. Isn't that a pretty picture? And he still does. And this is a picture. So Tommy DePaola drew all the pictures in here too. And this is a picture of himself drawing all wonderful pictures that he put into his books. Awesome job listening. I have a little song before you go and I have to see. Look at what you're wearing today. Look at the colors you're wearing. Because this is a color song. And I dropped my own pretend crayons today. Do I have to see what color I see? Oh, you know what? I know what I see. What color is this crayon? It's blue. It's blue. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any blue, any blue. If you're wearing any blue, put your finger on your shoe. <gasps> if you're wearing any blue, any blue. Good job. Let me see. I see another color. What is this color? What's this color? Do you have white? That's kind of white. I don't have a tan print. That's white. Oh, you got white, you got white. Here we go. If you're wearing any white, any white. If you're wearing any white, any white. If you're wearing any white, stamp your feet with all your might. If you're wearing any white, any white. We'll do one more, because I think I see a little bit of this color. Do, 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 do. What color is this? What's that? Yeah, is that on your shoe? I see some on your shirt. 
If you're wearing any red, any red. If you're wearing any red, any red, you guys too. If you're wearing any red, put your finger on your head. If you're wearing any red, any red. Awesome job, guys. Thank you so much for coming today. Welcome back. We're so glad to see you. Have fun playing.